Hi. Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thanks. You're 38, I heard. <laughs> yeah, it's six years. So we are at Lake, however you pronounce it. Abiquiu. 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 And there's a time capsule in there. And there's no water in the lake. Well, well there is. Water, but it's, way down. it's usually 100 or feet or 150 feet higher. And we're at the dam, and the water doesn't even touch the dam. Take a look at this. So, I don't think the dam will fail anytime soon. Here's the dam. And the water's got a long way to come up here before it even touches the dam. There's no water in the kayak launch either. Yeah, you have to literally portage down a cliff to get to the water. So we're going to use the main motorboat ramp to try to get some paddling in here. Wow. Let me go above the fence for y'all. Oh, and they have a little standing platform here. <sighs> Not a lot of people boating out there. A little cloudy. Yeah. So the, we just came back past an arroyo that was flooding immensely. So a lot of flooding, a lot of monsoonal rain. And an article just came out today that uh, the Four Corners drought could be over. That would be awesome. Yeah, so it's just been raining and raining. And, and that's where it's we came from. It's not filling up this lake, that's for sure. <laughs> no, not at all. So we're going to head out there. What is it? probably takes like 10 years for a lake like this to recover. 100 feet, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of But water. there's a beach now. Yeah, let's go swimming. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Warning. of the dam. He's about to drive up it. And this is a pretty historical river. The River Chama at the Old Spanish Trail comes up here, I believe. Look at that effluent, how much nutrients are in it. Everything's green. Smells like the bottom of a lake. And that is murky. So that's how they keep the Chama River going. Chocolate milk style. We did it! We made it. And it's not raining. <laughs> now we're back here in a quiet cove in Lake Abiquiu. So I'll just turn around and I can show you out of the cove. Over there. And it looks like some alligators are following us. <laughs> the wind isn't too bad. No. Oh, sorry about the crookedness, folks. Trying to get you out here to a little better view. And I'm holding a camera and paddling a kayak paddle with one hand. <laughs> There's the mesa. And this is like this lake is pretty huge. It's uh 5,200 acres. 
top 10 lakes in Colorado. Top 15, but this would make the top 10. Yeah. The biggest lake is, what did I say, like 11,000 acres? Yeah. Twice as large? Yeah. I don't remember which lake that is. It's a reservoir. Yeah. And the second biggest is Navajo. Yeah, which we were just at, so. We're on some of the big lakes here. With the big boys in the little boats. <laughs> so, having a good birthday. We just went to a... Uh, what was that? What do you call that? Gallery a gallery house. up in the actual city of Abiquiu, which is a tiny Pueblo. Literally the only thing to see in, in Abiquiu is this guy's, and the guy obviously who owned, whose gallery it was, he had a mask on. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all kinds of art from all over the world, art and sculpture, Yeah. stuff from the West. Yeah, we saw Navajo blankets. Navajo blankets, Dogon masks. Yeah. He uh, didn't know all about the Dogon. That was kind of cool. That was nice. He knew about Sirius B? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, he told me the whole story. I was just nodding my head. I said, yep, I know. <laughs> I said, and people have tried to debunk that story about them knowing about Sirius B. And yeah. it's bullshit, and he agreed. Someone told them years ago. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching. We need some privacy. <laughs> Say bye. Happy bye. birthday, Leah. Thank you. Well, the sun came out. <laughs> what do you think? We paddled like 24 miles already? <laughs> no. 30? Like three. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're about three miles in. A mile and a half or two away from where we started. and I can't even see. Yeah, that's how far it is. It's invisible. But it's just amazing what a little piece of plastic from China can do for your soul. <laughs> so we highly recommend it. Good use of China plastic. Oh, there's some fishing lures there. You can just come out and get stuff for free. Right off the tree. Alright, let me get away from that tree. So, it's a beautiful day. We're going to find a way to get something to eat. We were just talking about how much of a food desert it is. It's not just a food desert, it's a amenity desert period. Yeah, it's like nothing for it's hundreds of miles. general store and that's it. So once you go south to Oppenheimer, there's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> well, three canyons. Yeah. But desert. And we're only an hour and 40 minutes from uh, the farm at this amazing lake.